Hello everybody, this is David again with another Verilog video. Um, I just finished doing the eight or the three by eight decoders, so I figured I'd switch it up, turn it around, and do the eight by three encoder. So here it is. Um, I have an input of eight, um, eight bits, and an output of three bits. And you can synthesize this on an FPGA that has switches and LEDs. You can use uh, the switches for the inputs and the LEDs for the output. Here's a 3-bit register, so I can use inside the always block and assign it. Um, here's the always block. I use a case statement that keeps an eye on the encoder in. And um, so it's a it's a one hot basically for these eight bits of the switches. So only one switch on will encode into a binary value in the in the LED. So switch zero will be a binary value of zero. Switch zero one two will be a binary value of two, all the way up to switch um, seven, which will be a binary value of seven. And then I just assign the output equal to this register. Um, I do have a default value here because you can have any other combination of switches, but that's not the way this is supposed to work. So you'll get uh, nothing on the LEDs. Here's the test bench. I got a register for the input, a wire for the output, um, integer I use in the for loops down here. Here's instantiating the device under test, the same names. Um, got the initial block. I'm going to start out with the input with this switch on right here i'm going to go through the for loop and then after a little delay i'm going to shift this is the operator for shift i'm going to shift it by one so for each iteration of the for loop it'll shift this one all the way over and then down here i'll set this switch high and then decrement and this for loop to go back down and right shift it all the way back down to the least significant bit. I already ran the sim simulation. Here it is. So this I is in radix of decimal. These are both in binary. So you can see switch zero results in a binary value of zero. Switch one is one. Two is two. Switch three gives us three, four, four, five, five. We scroll over here. Um, switch six gives us a binary value of six. Six. Switch seven, binary value of seven. Here's where the other for loop kicks in, and we count back down. So you can see it's working. Switch six gives us six. Five gives us five. Four four three three two two one one, and switch zero gives us a binary value of zero over here. I'll take you back to the code so you can check it out. Thanks for watching.